This video is sponsored by Ombre. Hey guys, today my husband and I are going to be ranking our top dim sum dishes. Of course, dim sum is S tier food. I mean, Chinese food in general is just S tier. This is gonna be our definitive list as to which dim sum dishes are the best or the worst, I guess. <laughs> All right, so let's get right into it. So we're gonna start with beef tendon. Ooh, <laughs> not one of my favorites. I have a feeling she's gonna rank it higher than, than I will. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put beef tendon as A tier for now. Ta siu bao. Ooh, that is one of my favorites. Definitely a crowd pleaser, very guaylo friendly. <sighs> Honestly, I think Tasu Bao is overrated. The problem is it's never consistent. Sometimes they put no filling. Sometimes the filling's like too sweet, too dry. I don't know. Hard to get right. Yeah, it's a hit or miss for me. I think it's a C. What would you rank it as? At least A tier. No, we'll but go your rankings are an average of our rankings? I'll make the final decision. <laughs> we'll put it in the middle. B. Yeah, it's up, go. I would put that pretty high up, at least A tier. I actually grew up with Ma Ga Bo Ding, wow. and that was like my favorite growing up. I think A tier, dessert for sure. Next is actually mango pudding. That might be my favorite. Really? S tier for sure. Ooh. That's one of my favorites. I'd put that down at like D. That low? In the jello, sometimes they'll put like real mango slice in it, but I don't see that happening anymore. No, that one's definitely like restaurant specific. I'm gonna put this in the C, cause I'm nice. Jump. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in F tier. <laughs> Eventually I, I kind of did acquire a taste for it. And when it's done right, not too watery or too thick, at least B tier. Mm. I don't go to dim sum for jok. You know, I go to a place that specializes in jok. Is it even a dim sum dish? I guess. I mean, a lot of people have it at dim sum, especially bak jok, which is just plain kanji. They'll have the yao tiu on the oh, side. Oh, the true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the dough fritter. Considering you're trying to eat a lot of stuff at dim sum, it, it, it takes up too much uh, stomach real estate. Mm -hmm. Jok for me is like A, but at dim sum, I'd probably bring it down between like a B or C. Mm. I'd say B. Okay. B too. All right, we'll do B then. Gale mayu, curry cuddle fish. <laughs> Gale Mokyu for me is S tier. Oh, I thought you were gonna say like tendons or you like the tripe. We haven't even hit organs yet, Jared. That stuff's gonna, you know. They need a, a tier higher than yeah, this. Yeah, organ tier. I would put it at C tier. Yeah, I'm gonna put it S tier for me. <laughs> I mean, if you're putting mango pudding at C tier, mango pudding beats curry cuttlefish. I think the viewers will agree. Dude, I would have curry cuttlefish for dessert. I wouldn't. <laughs> Deep fried squid. So I actually loved it when I was little. As you get older, when you approach 30, your tastes change a little bit. I'd put that C. I might have been more generous. I like it. I would have put it around B, maybe C. Oh, yeah, I'll put it B. I'll put it B. It, it depends on the restaurant too. Sometimes they got these like big juicy tentacles. On that note. <laughs> <laughs> Next one is Dan Pat. This one I like so much, we'll order a couple extra to go. Mm -hmm. um, I would put it S tier, super tasty. Egg tart at S tier. Oh, you like it that much too? Yeah, I love egg tart. Ooh, and you know they actually have egg white egg tarts? And then there's different kinds of like pastry. Jared, there's a whole new world you I haven't even shown you yet. All right, next one is ham sorry gok. Ham sorry gok for sure, I would say like A. Amazing, like, ooh, especially when it comes out eat lot lot, Jared. Mm. The inside is hot and juicy. The outside is like crispy and chewy. Oh, it's good. It's so freaking good. I'm getting I'm hungry just thinking about it. It's made with nol mai mm -hmm. on the outside, so it's got that glutinous rice texture, but then it's also fried. <laughs> oh, wrap! Nol mai guy. Have you had that one? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The lotus wrap chicken. This is not one of my favorites. I'm saying C tier. What? It's not bad. I think he's lying. Like every time we go have dim sum with my parents, you'll gobble that one up. Like I say C because I don't dislike it, uh, but compared to everything above it. He's just trying to impress my parents. I, I never get to order at dim sum. <laughs> if, if it were up to me, it probably wouldn't make the cut. Kind of in the same vein as the jok. It kind of filling. Like I love everything that comes in my guy. There's um guy the tonggu. It's very savory. It's delicious, but it's filling. So B tier is okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna have to reorder this. Let's put all my guy in B. All right, here we go. Ngao pat yi. Technically called omasum beef tripe. I am not team internal organs. I might go D. So it's not F. F means I won't even eat it. If I hadn't eaten for, for three days, you I still wouldn't I eat still it. Wouldn't eat it. Uh -huh. I don't know why I put an F tier. Honestly, like, I'd eat everything here. <laughs> this is an A tier item because there is an internal organ I like even more than that. Put it like B. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put it in B. 
I feel the same way about Tasi Bao, so it should go next to Tasi Bao. Another kind of tripe, gum tin tou, also known as reticulum beef tripe. I don't like that. Name. Some of these English names need a rebranding. We also call it like honeycomb tripe. This is an S tier for me. This isn't as bad as what I threw in the, the D tier. It's a little better. To put it in C tier with mango pudding, I think the viewers will side with me that mango pudding shouldn't be put in the same category. You know, Team Guaylo out there, I'm sure is on board with me. Some Guaylo are more uh, adventurous than you are. You know why this is S tier? Sometimes they don't only just put the, the tripe in it, they also put naokan in it. Oh, this one go S. I would order everything in S tier. Every time I go to dim sum, if it were just me and I had like five other stomachs, it would be curry cuttlefish, egg tarts, uh, gum tin tou, yeah, I'd get hamster gok too. Now a little bit about today's sponsor, Ombre. Ombre makes at-home test kits to test your gut health. They ship the test straight to your door with easy to follow collection instructions. Once they've processed your kit, they'll give you a detailed breakdown of your gut bacteria and any health issues it may be causing, as well as a breakdown of the kinds of food you should be adding or removing from your diet. This is super helpful because modern diets are filled with things like refined sugars, artificial colorings and hormones, all sorts of things that can hurt your gut. As I'm sure a lot of you know, gut health is extremely vital to our overall health. When it's defective, it can lead to all sorts of health issues like chronic fatigue, acne, an inability to gain or lose weight, and just like overall bloating, which is super uncomfortable and something that I battle with that causes a lot of instability in my mood. So let's take a look at my results. So mine recommends I cut out alcohol to promote bacteria I'm deficient in. That's good to know. I mean, I don't drink a lot to begin with. I will stay away from alcohol. Also gives me a list of foods to promote healthy bacteria. Garlic, shiitake mushrooms, great. A lot of Chinese food includes shiitake mushrooms, so that's not a problem. Lemons. You got your ling mun. I love pork. That works perfectly with my diet because who doesn't like a good pulayo? Ombre's at-home test kit will give you a little bit of clarity on your gut health as well as giving you probiotic recommendations to help heal your gut. So now's the time to take control of your gut health. Check out the link right here. It's tryombre.com slash Brittany to get $30 off your at-home test kit. All right, back to the dim sum. Okay, feng zhao. What do we call it? Chicken feet, right? Yes, yeah. Phoenix claws. I think a lot of people are too harsh in their judgment. Mm. What I object to is the amount of work you have to do for the tiniest little sliver of meat. I would say C or D tier. The, the reason you don't like it is because you don't like tendons and like skin and all that. It's basically what Phoenix Claw is good for. I'd probably put that B for me. It's not something I would probably order for myself. Cheng fun Ooh, rice I like rolls. This. I guess right in this picture we have ha cheng. Yeah, I like the ones with shrimp. That would put an A tier. For, for me, it'd be B. I've never had a bad one. We've gone to so many places. Yeah. It's pretty consistent. Usually the shrimp's really good. Fun is nice. I like the plain carbs in the sauce. Mm -hmm. So we'll put that an A for is you. Is that the one you always get with peanut sauce? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then the one waiter was like, peanut sauce? My anxiety kicked in. I was like, oh, can I have it like one jam? And he was like, what's that? And I was like, oh, is my language wrong? Like, did I say something wrong in Kenny's? Like, but it was fine. I checked with people later. I was right. The guy just didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> Next. Ha gao. Oh, the S tier. That's so good. Dude, I don't like ha gao. What? It's just a big shrimp they're so cute they're like little tiny things and you bite into it it's so juicy i put it down with mango pudding <laughs> how is mango pudding the lowest rank thing like that makes zero sense to me you said what c tier i said s tier so uh, a or b c tier is generous shrimp dumpling c tier of course after hakao there's siumai <clears throat> a for me almost no place can mess it up i think and i love pork this might be uh one where we're in agreement i would also say here. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hi. What? Ooh, spare ribs. Oh, what would you put? I would put A tier. It's definitely not S tier. There's no yunguat soft bone. Cartilage? Yeah, there's no cartilage in it. Or sometimes there is. It depends on the restaurant. A, because it's good. It's good. I like it and you like it, so that's good. This is actually good to know. We can reference this one for dim sum next time. The next one is taro dumplings. When I was little, I would have put this like F. Now, I love it. It's like a taro croquette. <laughs> I'd put this A. Like that's the thing with these fried items. Actually, I don't know if taro dumpling is fried. Part of the name is like, it has this like, funky funky pastry situation. I hate to, to disagree. It, it's gotta go somewhere between C and B. The problem <laughs> is with that mango pudding there, I kind of like, <laughs> if, if mango pudding is C tier, 
I would say it's like a B minus. I would put it in so, A, so let's put it in B. Yeah, put it, throw it in the B. Oh my, go. Ooh. Yeah, you have to go, chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. No, it's chef's uh, kiss. Oh my God. S tier. It is so good. <laughs> it is so crispy. And then they always have that little sauce. We, we have it every time we get dim sum pretty much. But that that's a classic. For dim sum, I'd put that like D. I love homemade lopako the best. So when it has more glutinous rice flour in it, so it's like chewier and like more, more like mochi-like. Mm -hmm. And then when you fry it, oh, they never do that at dim sum. I want fried mochi. What's the guaylo equivalent of? Aspic. Huh? Do you know what aspic is? No, it sounds like a bad word. Aspic's like uh, gelatin everything. Like you can put like bologna and gelatin. That's an that aspic. That sounds terrible. I'll settle for A tier, but that really is. Really? I was just gonna throw it in B. I'm saying S. Let's take the average. Yeah, I guess we could put it A. I'm so nice to him, right? Yeah. <laughs> for the most part. Okay, next is Tala. Don't love it. Don't love it. Me neither, actually. B tier. Feel the same way about it as I do mango pudding. I don't know. I'd rather just have Yao Tiu and Charm fun. Sorry, Tyler. All right, Lai Wong. Bao. They custard yeah. bun. Salted egg, yeah. I would put this in the same category as Tasu Ba. The overrated category. <laughs> it depends on where you go. Like, I've had some that are so good. They call it like lava custard or whatever. And oozing out, it's super hot. But then there's other places where you like take a bite and it's like the smallest little amount. They skimp on the custard and then it's like hard. I'd, okay. say, I'd say B tier. Okay, yeah, it'll put B tier. Next one is Tao Fu Fa. I don't know if I've had this one. Yeah, I'm gonna put this in F. <laughs> Sorry to all the tofu fans out there. No, I like tofu. I just don't like tofu fa. Have you ever seen those like block tofu that you get from the supermarket? It tastes like that, but hot. I know there's someone at home and this is their favorite dish. And you saying it's F tier, probably ruined their day. To that person, I'm sorry. <laughs> My ruthless wife, F tier. Uh, F tier, sorry guys, it's too plain. Even when you put like the sweet syrup on it and stuff, it's just, I'd rather eat mango pudding. <laughs> the last one, oh, la, bao. Ooh, like this is another one I'll just get at a little bakery sometimes, mm. even when we don't get dim sum. I would say this is A tier, mm. but it's not as good as dan ta. It's not something that I would get, but if it were there, I might eat it. Dang, I look forward to eating it. Like, I think it belongs in B tier because it has like the same issue as um, la wang bao and ta siu bao, where it's like, depending on where you go, it's either really good or really bad. Mm because they'll like skimp on the top portion. It's basically just a tan bao. All right, so curry, cuttlefish, definitely the top, egg tart, red tikkulam, <laughs> beef tart. Man, only one dessert made it to the top. Tofu pudding goes all the way to the bottom. If you get to put curry, cuttlefish at the top of S tier, there's no way I'm gonna let turnip cake be that low in the A tier. That That's moving on up. I would put ham, so you got spare ribs, would, I'd put it at the end of A tier. Like I just like savory things more than sweet things. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised you you put spare ribs at the end because you love ribs. Maybe it's just not dim sum ribs, but I feel like whenever we get barbecue, you're always getting ribs. It's not yi hei when it's steamed B tier <laughs> or for B tier. The majority should be really B and C. Yeah, maybe we'll have to kick things to the C tier. I'm moving Phoenix Claws. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, put it before mango pudding. <laughs> mango pudding, you go to the end. Uh, let's see, what would I put at the top of B tier? I like shrimp dumpling okay. and I would put pineapple bun higher. After Tasu, I put sweet cream bun at the end. Phoenix Claws at the top of C tier, but mango pudding might actually need to go lower. <laughs> I'm just hating on mango pudding now. Yeah. Sorry, mango pudding. You can stay in C tier. Are we are we happy with our ranking? Are you happy with our ranking? Except for mango pudding, I think this does a pretty good job of reflecting both of our, our preferences. I would say it skews a little more towards your taste, but you also know a lot more about dim sum than I did. I don't think I even tried dim sum till I was like 28. Yeah, I have a whole lifetime of dim sum experience. Don't worry about the tofu pudding, you'll never try it. <laughs> <laughs> Learned a few new things today. I'd like to know actually what you guys think if I was totally off the mark on some of them. Are uh, people more in agreement with my tastes or? Yeah, and also let us know if we missed any of your favorites because of course this is not an exhaustive list. All right, that's it. Hati Jarkin. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.